it's Evelyn here. Welcome back to the channel. As always, a huge thank you to all of you for supporting us on this little creativity corner of the internet. I hope that you're all enjoying the knit along as much as I am. If you haven't done so already, my friends, please make sure that you hit that all important subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of this knit along content. This week, we're going to create the sleeves of our sweater. We are so nearly there. And because it's decidedly cooler in my part of the world, I wanted to share with you my very favourite quick and easy soup recipe because when those colder months hit, there's just something about being able to cozy up on the sofa with a dinner that is sat just in a bowl for you to munch. There really is just something about it. So without further ado, let's get to some knitting and some soup making. Let's go. To knit our sleeves, the pattern asks us to firstly join the jumper front and back pieces together at the shoulder seams, seaming them together for two inches. I'm doing so using an invisible seam. I leave long tails on my projects after binding off so that I can use that yarn to seam the project. Grabbing a darning needle and beginning at the edge of the piece, Pass your needle under the uppermost horizontal bar stitch between stitches, repeating this then on the other piece, picking up a bar on each side one after the other to stitch the pieces together. Now pull on your thread to tighten the seam. So now that the shoulder seams are sewn, joining the front and back of our jumper for the very first time, the pattern wants us to create the sleeves by picking up stitches using our 3.25mm needles, firstly along the top of the shoulder here, picking up 20 stitches. So I'm going to pick up 10 to the back of the shoulder seam and 10 to the front. We then work in stockinette stitch, picking up 5 more stitches at the end of each row until there are 100 stitches in total on the needles. To pick up stitches with the right side of your work facing you, push your knitting needle through the work just underneath the first row of stitches. Wrap your yarn around the needle and, pulling the needle through the work, catch the yarn on the needle as it comes through to create a new stitch. Now simply repeat this process. Now that I've picked up 100 stitches onto the needles, you can see that the sleeve cap and its curve has been created. And the pattern now wants us to continue knitting in that stockinette for 5 inches. Having knit those 5 inches, we now need to decrease to 58 stitches evenly across the row. And I'm doing so using a knit 2 together decrease, which ends up looking like this. And it's now back to using our 2.75mm needles and the 2x2 ribbing for 2.5 inches before binding off. To 
bind off the sleeves, I use a stretchy bind off method. I knit two together when encountering a knit stitch and purl two together through the back of the stitches when encountering a purl stitch. This will make the edge of our sleeves nice and stretchy and comfy to wear. Wonderful! Having worked very hard on our sleeves, let's make some soup. This super easy delicious soup comes together so so quickly from just some peppers, tomatoes, a chilli pepper and some cream. And as always my friends, full details of the ingredients can be found in the description box. Begin by chopping up your fresh tomatoes, peppers and chilli and place them on greaseproof paper on a baking tray. Drizzle over some balsamic vinegar before popping them in an oven to roast. Let those delicious fruits cool before placing them all in a blender with the chopped tin tomatoes and blitzing it all into a puree. Get that puree into a saucepan and add your double cream or cream substitute while gently heating. Season to taste, although being completely honest with you, I didn't do any seasoning with mine and believe you me, it did not need it. Serve nice and hot with crusty bread slathered in butter. Delicious! <sighs> Phew! That was quite a bit of knitting, but check out my jumper. It now has sleeves. We are so, so close to finishing our gorgeous Claire sweaters and I absolutely love this blue colour. It's going to be wonderful when spring comes and it's still a little bit nippy. I can pop this on over a pair of my favourite Loretta shorts, probably my red ones. It's going to be a gorgeous spring ensemble. Next week we are going to finish our sweaters and a little birdie tells me we're also going to draft and create a lovely autumnal garment as well. But that's it, I'm not telling you any more, no more spoilers. Take care my friends and I'll see you next week. Bye!